Okay, so this is actually part two of your lesson today. This is an example of word problems. So we're basically going to show you one way of how to use logs in the real world. And this is a lumber company, uh, and they have 1.2 million trees. Your plan is to harvest. So think about what the word harvest means in terms of growth or decay. Your plan is to harvest 7% of the trees each year. And we need to know how many years will it take until you harvest half of them. All right, so the first thing we got to look at is we need to have our decay formula there. Okay. So A of T equals A times 1 minus R to the T. And A, if you remember, is the initial amount, the little a, is your initial amount. So that's going to be your 1.2 million. You got your R, which is your rate. Our rate is 7%. And it's minus that because we are taking 7% of the trees out of the forest. And the T is how long it takes to get there. Okay? Which we don't know. How many years will it take to harvest half the trees? Okay? So we plugged in what we know. Part of it, anyways. Okay? And, and also think about what does it mean, or how many trees will you have left after you? harvest half of the trees because that's going to be some other information that we need over here. So if you start with 1.2 million, half of them will be 600,000, okay? So now, when we're solving these, we have to get the exponential part, the part on the right, all by itself. So we have to get rid of that 1.2 million. We do that by dividing. 600,000 divided by 1.2 million is 0.5. And yeah. 0.5 is what? A it's half. half. Okay, so that's why it just becomes a half. This is steps, it doesn't even matter how much you start with. You could have started with 10 billion. Mm -hmm. You would have had 500 million on the left, you divide it, you still get one half on the left hand side. It doesn't still even get matter. Still get 0.5. Okay, and then the 0.93 is inside the parentheses as your base. You get that from doing 1 minus 0.07. All right. <coughs> okay, so what we're going to do here then is go ahead and uh, use logarithms to solve this exponential um, equation. And so here we use logs on both sides. And then the properties of logs, remember, means that you can take an exponent and move it out as the coefficient. So from here to here, we took that exponent and just moved it out front. And, oh, yeah. and don't forget, um, you could also just take your exponential back, the 0.5 equals 0.93 to the t. And you could just change it from exponential form to logarithmic form. Yeah. And that's going to take, and it'll go through the same set of steps. And then as we go to the next part here, we end up getting t equals log of 0.5 over log of 0.393 because we just divided both sides by log of 9, 0.93. You can talk, it's okay. Yeah, no so. problem, just spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you put that all in your calculator, log of 0.5, close your parentheses at the end, divided by log of 0.93, you get t equals 9.55. And our time is in years if we look up here. Each year it's just happening. Okay, so, so let me ask you this. How many years is 0.55? Think about that when you have to construct an answer too because you know it's helpful if you talk in years and months. So what would you say on that one? Oh half a year about so let's say uh, six months. Year. Okay so after about nine years and six months you have harvested half of the trees. So that's the time you're solving for that T. Mr. Winters, let me ask you, do you care if your class says 9.55 years, or do you prefer 9 years, 6 months? Um, what do you think they'll see on a, on a test? Probably see the 9 years, 6 months. Okay. So be sure this is something that you can correlate from the, the actual decimal to the month equivalents. Make sure you bring your questions tomorrow. Yeah, and sometimes this might be in time. Don't think it's 9 hours and 55 minutes either. 0.55 is about a half, so you got to do half of whatever that whole unit is. The 9 is in time, in years. So exactly. take half of that in 6 months. So, yeah, bring your questions, and yeah. See ya. Peace out.